Once we had a turnip at the pet cemetery, what came back was not a turnip, it was a pumpkin. Hey, Mr. Zero, tell us a story. Once told a story at the pet cemetery, what came back was not a story. Tell us a scary story, Mr. Zero. What came back was Encyclopedia Britannica. Please! I had to tell you a little scary story about a long time ago, never really happened, about a man named Jack. Now Jack, he was a very, very wicked man. He loved whiskey too much. Drank it too much every day. People would say, hey Jack, why are you drinking? And he says, because I'm sober. So at any rate, one day Jack was stumbling home from the pub, having had too much whiskey, and then <laughs> out popped the devil. The devil says to him, Jack, for your wicked ways, I now drag you to hell. And Jack says, well, I suppose that's fine, but since I'm going to hell for all eternity, I suppose it wouldn't bother your lordship if I just had one more drink of whiskey before we go down. I'll tell you what, even you can help me with this one. If you could transform yourself into, into a coin so I might buy my last shot of whiskey, and then you could start some mischief that way. And of course the devil liked this idea because he liked causing mischief for other people. Eh? So sure enough, with a whistle and a spitter, <laughs> the devil turns into a little coin. Well, Jack picks up that little coin and sticks it in his little purse. This is a long time ago, so Jack carried around a change purse. And stuck it in the Put it in his pocket and start walking home. See, what you may not know is that the devil has no power over iron. Suddenly the devil's like, Jack, let me out of this iron clasp purse. I can't get out. Oh, you can't, your lordship. You can't get out of me purse, huh? Well, I guess you won't be dragging me down to hell then, will ya? Oh, anything, Jack. Just let me out of here. So Jack says, well, your lordship, come back for me next year and see if I'm ready to go. You promise? And of course the devil made the promise. So Jack lets him out and the devil, fuming angry, goes back to hell. One year later, Jack is not any more sober, stumbling out of the pub. Right a year later, right to the date, <laughs> there appears the devil and says, Jack, it's your time now. I'm dragging you to hell for your wicked ways. And Jack says, Oh, it's my time, is it, your lordship? Well, I don't suppose I can have one last bit of food before I go down. As you know, it's it's fall and the harvest is coming in. And those are delicious apples. If I could have just but one of those last apples, just before it would just, just make everything so much better when I go to be eternally punished. And of course, Satan says to him, Well, I suppose. So Jack was stumbling this way, stumbling that way. And Satan said, Do you know where this tree is? Yes, your lordship, it's east. No, your lordship, I think it's north. The devil was so confounded by Jack's drunken behavior that he says, Never mind, I will pluck this apple for you. And so, with a whistle and a spit, and <laughs> Satan turns into a large snake and coils his way up the tree. Just as he was tenderly plucking the apple down from the tree, out pops Jack with his, with his penknife and <laughs> carves a cross right into the tree trunk. Now the devil is stuck. He can't cross over a holy symbol like that. Jack, what have you done? You've tricked me again! I cannot leave this tree now. I shall spend eternity as a snake eating apples. I hate apples. Apples keep doctors away. And Jack says, Well, your lordship, 
I'm not too keen on going down to hell, so I'll let you down if you promise never to take me. Sure enough, I promise, says the devil. And there he goes, Jack. He cracks out the cross. I guess he cracks out the cross. Or carves out the cross. I don't know, maybe he chopped the tree down. But the devil gets out and says, Right, Jack, we have an agreement now. I will never see you in Hell's Gates. And with a whistle and a spit, <laughs> the devil went back down to hell. Years go by as they do, and, uh, and, and Jack keeps drinking and drinking, living a very long and boring, drunken life, till he's the ripe old age of, oh my gosh, he's so old. Then one day, while walking out of the pub, he falls down on his face. And then he finds himself at the gates of St. Peter. And he sits there and goes, uh, Excuse me, but I seem to be dead here. And is this the pearly gates? And St. Peter was there going, Hmm, yeah. Uh, oh, yes, you. Uh, Jack, is it? I'm, I'm sorry, you're far, far too wicked. Wicked to go into heaven. I'm afraid you're going to have to go to the other place. Bye-bye. And so as Jack turned around, boom, there he is in the gates of hell. And there he sees his old friend standing there, the devil. And the devil goes, Jack, still I am sick of the sound of your name and the thought of your appearance. I never want to see you inside my realm. Leave at once. And then Jack turned around and says, Am I supposed to live in a sort of limbo on earth, where it is cold and dark forever? Yes, says Satan. But is it so cold and dark, your lordship? So frightening. What shall I do? <laughs> says Satan. He grabs up a coal from hell and tosses it right at Jack. And Jack fumbles and catches it. It's very hot. It's very hot. So he reaches in for the only thing he has in his pocket. A turnip. He ate, was beginning to eat right before he died. He takes a bite of it. <coughs> puts the uh, coal in the turnip. And starts walking his lonely, lonely existence on earth. Forgotten limbo. A lost soul forever. And in remembrance of him, supposedly, they used to carve turnips into this shape here to frighten Jack away from their door so he could not cause mischief for them and also to light the way for him. These were the first jack-o'-lanterns. Um, this myth is really not true at all and no one really believes it, but it's a fun story to tell at Halloween time. And, you know, it's fun to make a traditional jack-o'-lantern out of a turnip. Mine looks like Jack Skellington. Ha-ha! <laughs> I am the Pumpkin King. <sighs> Thank you and good night. That's my story. A little drawn out and a little overdone. I give it D+. Chappy Hanukkah.